All right, what we're going to learn to do is making video using vector shapes. So if you wanted to have one footage in the background and have a special shape cut out of a film from another clip put in top of that other film, this is how you would do that. So what we're going to do is just right click the project library and import a file. And what you're going to do is go to my computer and you're going to select the ComTech drive. Again, I'm on my laptop, so it's not here, but the ComTech drive. And then you're going to go to the After Effects, Lessons 5. In the Assets folder, we're going to grab Gordon's head. Open that and we'll load into your project. Then what we're going to do is create a new composition. So you can either right click or go to the Create a New Composition button at the bottom of your project panel. And After Effects creates a new composition, and we're going to name it Gordon Head based on the settings of the movie. Okay. So, we're going to call it Gordon's Head. And as you can guess, this is a clip about a gentleman named Gordon, and we're going to have a clip of him talking, uh, but just his face versus the external background noise. Now we're going to make sure the Gordon's Head Composition layer is selected and go to Composition and Composition Settings. We're going to change the width to 360 pixels. And it's okay um, if it automatically changes the pixels to your aspect ratio, but we're going to unclick it and go to 240. 240 and then click OK. Then we're going to select this Gordon head layer in the timeline panel. So, so we have to drag it into our timeline. So that's within the clip. There you go. We have just his face. So see when we resize the layer in the composition settings, we change the parameters of the clip. So we wanted to actually give us the whole clip, but by changing the settings, we zoomed into one select area. Uh, we're going to choose the layer so it's active, go to Layer, Transform, and Fit to Comp. So it's resizing that clip to that smaller space. Then we are going to create a new shape layer. So you go to Layer, New, Shape Layer. Another way to do that as well, again, is just to right click, New, and add a shape layer. So there's multiple ways to do it. But as you can see in your composition of Gordon's head, you have the movie clip of Gordon. So you have his face movie clip. But you also have a shape layer and it's ready for us to take on. So let's zoom a little bit in so we can see this clip better. So we're going to take the shape layer so it's active. We are going to go to the animation browse presets. Again, this is our Adobe Bridge where all of our animation effects and default effects are stored. So once that opens, we are going to navigate back to our folder. Because we want a special preset that's on our folder. I'm just going to pause until that loads so we don't have the dead video. So hold on, we're just opening up our Adobe Brick. Alright, so to navigate to the folder, just go to the My Computer, locate the ComTech drive, and when again is the After Effects CD, you let the ComTech drive to the Lessons tab, again we're in Lesson 5, and the Animation preset. And select the head shape, and it's created a basic shape uh, for you. Okay. If you wanted to create a shape on the shape layer, you would have just used the pen tool if it's selected. But we're just going to use learn how to toggle through with the image that we've created. So, at the bottom of the timeline panel, we are going to select the toggle switches mode button. Okay? So as you can see, we've now added this default option here. So in the track matting menu, we choose alpha matte. Okay. 
So two 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 we should be able to drop down. There we go. So Gordon's head layer selected, alpha mat shape layer one. And what it's done, it's kind of like a clipping mask in Illustrator or Photoshop. You just have selected that you're only seeing through the shape one. So you've kind of cut out everything else, but whatever happens to shape one. And if it's a live clip, you only see that one section. So this is the difference between a shape layer and a rotoscoping. If Gordon here decides to walk out of frame, we lose him. But we, we always see what's in the frame. Whereas when we do the rotoscoping lesson, if he walks out of frame, it follows him out of the frame in that clipping. Uh, one sec. So if you wanted to bring this now into another clip as it plays through and has his little clip, you could actually now take this composition folder and drag this composition folder onto your film. So if you had a character box below and you wanted to put it into another scene on your film, you would just drag that composition into the timeline of your main film. So again, the video still plays through all of the clip. But you can actually have the full video clip of him. So if you have a very long video clip, it will carry through the whole length of the video clip. Uh, again, if you decided that you wanted to create your own shape, so see how we're seeing him talking in the RAM preview? We're just seeing what's there. If you wanted to create your own shape, just pause that. So if you decided, I just went back to it was just the movie clip again, that you didn't want that default shape, um, you would actually create your own shape as well. So just right click new layer. So if you had a default shape, a star or anything, you could bring it in the same way we just did. But if you wanted to create your own new shape layer, just make sure your pen tool is selected. It's very similar to when we did our vectors designs in uh, Illustrator. And you can actually trace around the head of this gentleman and to create that shape as your design. Oh. All right, A+. Plus. Okay, so it's obviously a rough draft, but same deal. Once you got to the very beginning, let's just close that. Once you got back to the beginning, same deal. Just make sure the toggle switch modes on or off, and then just select the parenting of alpha mat shape layer one, and you'll get just that shape that you've traced out. So any trace can apply, and obviously the better your tracing, the better the clip imposing will look. And that's it for using shape layers to clip out. It's hard to do things. So if you actually were to hide this, you would just have the background. So this clip can go into any part of your film.